hi guys welcome to the channel civil nts with a new video in this video i will create the a4 sheet layout for the cross section in the civil 3d first of all i will create the template for it and then i will apply on civil 3d this is the layout which i created already i paste the simple lines in 100 meter only because it is example that's why I will create a small area sheets. First of all, for the template, let me go to the template first. New. This A3 size I created for the plan and profile before. I am opening this one. Now, these sheets are for the plan and profile. I will use this template for the cross section as well. So I have to open a new file again. Here I am selecting the cross section in the metric. Open. Okay. So in this drawing I will create a new. Click here. The same thing which I did before for the plan and profile A3 size. Here I will do for the A4 size cross section. I am deleting this one. Control P. Here I am selecting the printer or this one. From here I am selecting the ISO expanded A4 size. I will keep other things the same. Apply to layout. Cancel. Now this is A4 size. Let me open the profile template. I am deleting this one. Explode this block. And then select all. Control C, paste it here. Okay. Here I have to align this frame for this paper size. So I have to draw a line from here F8 to here. Then align AL, shift uncheck click from here and this point to this point enter yes okay delete this line so now I have to adjust a little bit S straight stretch it Shift uncheck. You guys can see all the border came inside in the print area. This attribute I will change to M text. I will keep it the same this one. I have to copy this M text first here double click backspace insert field system variable ctab ok ok remove the attribute now I have to create the block from this B enter select the object shift unchecked those object which I don't want inside in the block Pick the point, click here. I have to give the name A4 SEC. Okay. Okay. Now the layout is ready. I have to copy the viewport. Rename first. A4 size. Now copy the viewport from here. adjust it so a4 size is ready 
now save it as a dwt file i am giving the name a4 size save okay so this template is ready now i have to close this one other things is the same now i am applying this frame in the civil 3d go to the main file click create multiple views i am keeping the same here next here i am selecting the file which i created a4 size open from here i am selecting the a4 size okay from here i am selecting plot by page next 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 from here i am selecting my own created band style which i created before now create sheets click here now you guys can see the section is came here inside in the a4 size this is the print area now i am creating the sheets for this for the sheet i have to click output create sheets from here i am keeping the same and create sheet okay i am deleting this old layout so 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 so five section is created now you guys can see this is a4 size we can move this cross section from inside here like this okay i have to fill this data but i will not fill all of these i will do only this changes and the drawing number because other things i fill it in the previous video plan and profile a 3 size sheet for civil 3d you guys can watch that video i will give the link in the description down below so here i will give the changes only and the drawing number for example first of all this is my drawing number so here what should i do rename and renumbering here i am giving the change 0 plus 020 okay next 0 plus 040 drawing number next 0 plus 060 drawing number 0 plus 080 0 plus 100 okay resave all sheets so you guys can see the change in the drawing number is came here in the next so like this we can create for the section a four sheet layout so that's it guys hopefully this video will be helpful for you See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.